Yo, 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 what the business is? This your dog QP, representing the world famous Sneaker House. Shout out Black Rag Promo, man. They always working. Nah, fuck that. Man, they never not working. Salute. Shout out to Black Rag Promotions. Matter of fact, they working. Matter of fact, they never not working. They always working. Shout out to Black Rag Promo. You know what I'm saying? They always working. They never not working. You hear me? Beast Gang, you know who I am, boy. You know what the fuck going on? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. Shout out to Black Rag promo man you know they always working man we always in the streets always putting in work you know we never not working always working non-stop man if you ain't working you don't grind you don't eat you know shout out black red promo man shout out black red promo they always working matter of fact you never not working nino davis 365 grocery quarter records out here fucking with black red promo we ain't never not working we catch ourselves I woke up late this morning. Y'all know I hate when I miss my plays. We still out here trying to get it in, man. Sneaker House in Baton Rouge. We've been running probably, I want to say, about eight years all together. We started off the first three as Sneaker Closet, but then the budget got big and we graduated from a closet to a house. So, as we have at the Sneaker House right now. And you know, it's just been going good, man. Everybody from the city come show us love. If you rap or you done made it out of BR, man, you done been through the house, man. The only people who ain't slid through on us yet, I'm going to probably say is maybe Kevin Gates and Webby. But anybody else from BR you can think of that do music, it has slid through the house, man. Right? To the up and coming business, man, you wanna mess with the shoe industry? The most important thing I would tell you is, man, make sure your credit good and um, have your business together, man. You gotta have some relationships that's not just dudes in the streets or a couple of people that went to college. You gotta know some powerful people that make things happen in your area. And um, most importantly, you gotta have Nike. A lot of people think it's all kind of other stuff. But no matter how much money you have, you gotta have Nike because Nike is the brand that's gonna bring the people in. It's gonna bait everybody in because they have the most intriguing and interesting shoes that everybody wanna see, AKA Jordan, stuff like that. And you know, um, once you have a Nike account, the sky's the limit, you know? Other brands are just falling in place, but it's, that's the only thing and that's the biggest thing. But that's why I say, man, make sure you have your business together, get your credit right, and reach out to the right people and stay in the right circles, man. The sky's the limit after that. If you think on the universal appeal, you got Dunks, Air Force Ones, Jordans, Vapor Max, Phone Pockets, all the premium shoes, all the shoes that push the culture are under what brand? Nike, for the most part on a consistent basis. Reebok, Puma, you know, Adidas, they may come up with a shoe that may catch people's attention or be some hype, but on a consistent basis, man, Nike is the staple for sneakers, you know? Recently, the big thing came out between Nike and StockX, and you know, it's, it's a big deal because, like, StockX is a major re reseller hub. You know, a lot of people go through them when they go through the Nike app and can't get shoes. And you know, they've had a large amount of people that had, you know, successful transactions and got the shoes that they wanted. But you know, recently it came out that Nike said that they were selling fakes. And there's a big difference between a retailer and a person and the corporate giant saying that. And when Nike say that, you know, it's kind of a big deal because StockX is selling Nike shoes and if Nike saying, hey, StockX is selling replicas and fake versions of our shoes, it kind of puts a stand on that brand, man. And um, I knew it was going to be a problem because, man, you can get StockX tags off of eBay, you know what I'm saying? And that's not a good look for your business. You know, you want to be in a space where the only thing that you sell is distributed by you, you know what I'm saying? That way you don't have no questions, no doubts, or none of that. But I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a bad hit for StockX for a little while. Either they gonna have to get with another sneaker brand and go hard, or they just gonna have to fall back because that ain't going to win. You know, nobody wanna buy fake kicks unexpectedly. A lot of people wear fakes, but they know 
But if you go to stock, guys, you ain't looking for no fake shoes, so that might hurt a little bit.